Good afternoon, folks. You've landed on the Bubba Roundtree Outdoors channel. I'm your host, Wade Rush. Not used to seeing me in cold weather stuff, but uh, pardon the cough drop. Been having some coughing problems, and uh, just three or four days ago, we were bumping mid 70s and uh, close to 80 degrees, and only getting down in the 50s and 60s at night. Now the highs are in the upper 30s, and the wind blowing out of the north. So winter has finally arrived here in the Midlands of South Carolina. Deer season ended January 1st, 2019 here in South Carolina. And we're moving on, we're into the second week of January. And so that means already getting set up for next fall. I'm all, the boys at the club almost shot me out of reloading supplies and buckshot. So I gotta get out here and mold up some more. We're gonna talk about buckshot molds today, folks. Stand by. Okay, today we're going to talk about the Do It Mold Company. Yeah, I know, uh, the, the fishing folks. Yeah, that's right, the fishing folks. Well, it was news to me, they make slingshot ammo molds. Yeah, slingshot ammo molds. That is round lead balls. This is the model number. This is the mold we're really going to be focusing on. The, uh, the model BB20 dash y2 it makes round lead ball in one tenth and one sixth of an ounce one slash ten one slash six ounce lead round ball the other one that they make now let me get up close where you guys can pause the video and look at all the numbers you need to see This one is model number BB-15-L2. It makes lead ball in one quarter and three eighths ounce. One slash four, one, three slash eight. One quarter and three eighths ounce round ball. The model BB-20-M2, I've, uh, I've made up a bunch of, uh, of lead ball with both of these molds, folks. And this one right here, the uh, the one tenth of an ounce lead ball comes to 29 to 30 caliber, bouncing around to uh, high 29s, just barely 30 cal, which is uh, bigger than a number two buck, but right at number one buck size. And the uh, the one sixth of an ounce is bouncing between 36 cal, high 36 cal to 37 to just 37, which is triple alt buck size, J triple alt buck plus just a little. I've already put some rounds together. I haven't taken them to the range yet, hadn't had time, ain't nobody around. The, the crew was all down at Santee helping Captain Buster work on the place. He's selling his place at Goat Island. And so they're working on trying to get that place set up to sell. Anyway, I'm doing as much research as I can on these molds. These molds are cheap. I will post the screen captures of what I actually paid for these molds on eBay. Uh, I got this one brand new and of course I just smoke treated it with kitchen wood matches this one I bought used I got some kind of error message on my camera I'd never seen before but I'll tell you what that old Sony camera has been put through the ringer hey she just keeps on running the big pellet mold the one quarter ounce is uh, measures out to 44 caliber and the 3 8 ounce measures out to 49 to 50 caliber. But I'm trying to find something to use these for. I've got some experimental loads put together using four 50 cal ball. I haven't shot them yet, so we're not going to talk about that much, but I am working on it for you guys. So what we're going to really concentrate on for making your, your everyday big game buckshot, number one buck and triple alt buck are excellent, and my Stoger loves both of them. Loves number ones and loves triple alt. So let's mold up some and let me show you what they look like. Okay, these are ice cold molds. It's about 35, 36 degrees out here. The molds are gonna be 35, 36 degrees. They will pour better as you warm them up. The big molds, the bigger ball molds, uh, heat up faster because you got a lot more lead, a lot more hot lead going into that aluminum block and they heat up really fast. 
The smaller one, however, it can take you two or three pours before it really starts heating up and uh, doing a pretty good job of pouring all pellets full at one time. All right. I think our alloy should be up to temperature here. Like I said, this is very first pour in an ice cold mold. A lot of times I do set the molds up here on the pot like that right there to let them heat up. A lot of times, most times, I don't. I come out here whenever the, uh, whenever the pots or the alloy is up and hot, I just start pouring and let the pouring heat it up. Yeah, let me grab my get a screwdriver. And right here in the gap, right there, I just pop it open just like that. And see, the bigger pellets poured a little bit better than the small ones, but whenever they're broke loose like this, I just grab them with the welding gloves. And if I can't, here I got a got an old pair of pliers. Got an old pair of pliers that I use right here, trying to hold this thing backwards. So you guys can see it in the camera. Here, I'm gonna have to spin it around here because I'm right-handed, so I can get a hold of it to get them out of there. All right, let's try that again. wouldn't say it's unusually cold here in South Carolina. It just took an unusual amount of time for us to finally get here. Right here in the gap. And pop the mold loose. And the bigger one, I can just grab and pull right out. All right. It's getting better. Only two of them didn't form on the on the small pellet side this time. I say on the on the number one pellet side. And I just let these air dry, folks. I use the baby pot also. It comes out of here a little bit stronger. This is my third pour. You want to use a tool to pop these things open like this because the handles are a very, very weak point on these molds. It looks like we got our first complete pour. Yeah, you know, these two stayed in the mold. All these are full. It did good that time. Took three pours and we've already got A full mold of buckshot pellets, or they call them slingshot pellets for me to buckshot pellets. All right, I'm gonna show you what the big pellets look like. The one quarter and three eighths, the one quarter ball and three eighths ball mold here. This mold with the bigger pellets heats up faster. It may pour all good rounds on the very first pour. Today I'm doing what I call making and baking. We make buckshot pellets and powder coat them and bake them in the toaster oven. Now a lot of times, most of the time with this one, I've just been able to just pull it open real easy. Yeah. And it did. All ball are fully formed on the first, very first pour. I just use my little sharpshooter billet and knock them right out. Let me do that one more time for you guys.
Oh. Got hung on something. There we go. Pops right open. Just use my wood billet. I mean, just tap. Just barely give it a little tap. Just once I get it backwards, or try to get it right where you guys can see it. Okay. That's what they look like. And the biggest drawing point to these molds... Now, there's not a whole lot of variety as far as standard buckshot sizes. I said we got the uh, the one-tenth and one-sixth ounce mold makes roughly number one and triple alt buckshot. That's perfect. We can use that very, very well and very easily for all of the different reloads that I put together. Next step, guys, I'm going to put some rounds together. I'll take you to the bench, show you how I put them together, and then we're going to go down to the range, and we're going to talk about different set uh, setups. Like uh, a lot of the questions that I get uh, are, Wade, do you have to treat the buckshot pellets? Short answer, no. But there's always a but in there somewhere. You know, always uh, a depending somewhere. That uh, if you're using a full-length wide, no, you do not have to treat your buckshot at all all but i i load in so many different configurations i pretty much have to treat my buckshot because i never know what kind of load they're going to go in whether it's conventional or a full length wide so it makes a big difference if i treat it or not but the way i reload the way you reload if you load all of your loads with a full length wide you buy once you snip these off the uh off the sprue you're done you're ready to load them so that's going to be the next step guys uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about what's, uh, what's going on with the molds and try to answer some of your questions right now. And if you happen to be new to buckshot reloading, the next step is to get the sprue and the pellets separated from one another. In other words, cutting the pellets off the sprue. You're going to need a set of flush cutters. Walmart has them for five bucks over in the craft department. So this is the... Uh, the 30 cal, 29, 30 cal, you want to make sure you put the flat side of the cutters up against the pellet and it will cut it off pretty flush. You may have a little tag on it every once in a while, but it ain't never been enough to cause me any problems. And you just snip your pellets off one at a time. And yes, all of my buckshot reloads, all of the pellets are handled one pellet at a time, no matter what size they are. And a lot of times, whenever they're treated, they're handled individually, multiple times. Yeah, this is a labor of love, folks. Here's the 44 caliber pellets compared to the number one buck pellet. 44 caliber as compared to the 36 caliber triple all. Here's the 50 cal pellet as compared to the 44 caliber pellets. 50 cal as compared to the 36, 37 cal triple alt. And finally, the 50 cal compared to the number one buck. 
Boy, that's a big difference, boys and girls. I hear from folks every day. I hear from subscribers wanting to know what is available as far as buckshot molds go, what is not. Uh, I have uh, I got in touch with or tried to get in touch with Sharpshooter USA. They uh, they contacted me December 2017 and said that they were working on they were going to come back online and all that and they run into machining problems. Long story short, we're at January 2019 and I still don't think they're up and running yet. I've reached out to them a, a, a week or two ago and I have not heard back. So I have to assume that that means no, that they are not up and running again and I have no idea. There's a big question mark by Sharpshooter USA. Uh, Marty's Arms, brand new company. I just heard about them last year and reached out to them and they were making some beautiful molds, beautiful buckshot molds and multiple sizes, just like Sharpshooter was. And uh, But they run into a problem with their prototype design and they recalled, had to start over again from scratch. Well, the good news about Marty's Arms is that they are Production is coming back online. That's what he told me just this past week, just a few days ago. Uh, he's supposed to be sending me a couple of molds, the original prototype, and I'll show you where the design flaw was in that and the new design that they are coming out with uh, with the Marty's Arms molds. And he's going to be making them in multiple buckshot sizes. That is great news, folks, for all of us that like to reload buckshot and like to have lots of choices where that is concerned links to all of this will be down in the description and uh so i guess there's nothing left to do but powder coat these pellets get them loaded up and let's head down to the range well folks i appreciate you joining me for uh for this buckshot mold update uh and the do it mold company yeah the, the, the fishing lid uh fishing lure folks they make round ball molds i didn't know that but now, once I found out about it, I share it with you guys. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, folks. This is Wade with the BRO channel, and we will be back with another one very, very soon. Bye-bye.